Last time on Dragon Ball Z. Oh! Oh! Ah! Ah! Firestone. Good. For evolving Pokemon that require a Firestone. Oh, the exit! I still see something up there. Oh! Flame charge. From fire to ice. Okay. Ice stone. Oh. Bah ha ha, you fell for my trick. Sasquatch. <laughs> hey! He's, he's, do, he's doing all the scare thing. Uh, head smash. How much HP do I have? Uh, I have good enough. Ah, it missed! Oh no. Ouch. Ow. Okay, I guess I can't use it anymore. Phantom Force, do it. Salute! Uh, razor Claw. I need to heal my Pokemon! Back inside to the fire. Oh? You want to shout to mount this ice block? That's it? <gasps> it's a den! There are turret meters here too. Okay, so I can only go across them when they're sideways. <gasps> no! Ah! Charmeleon. Okay, so don't go that way. What? Really? One hour later. I hope it's a rare item in the end. It should be a choice item for all my troubles. Finally! <gasps> it's a fire type mascot! What? Pokemon left? Okay, what did I gain from this? I gained nothing! You won't even let me catch the fire type mascot! There it is! There it is! A few moments later. Finally, now I can throw the Pokeball! <laughs> Got him! Fire bug. Home claws. Poison tail, attract, assist, lose assist. Alright, so I got the fire type mascot. We should be ready now. Oh! 
Oh, we did it! He's not talking. Leave, I'm meditating. Can't even speak to his Pokemon. I told you to leave! Me and my skelly- <gasps> This is the Skellion? Oh, look at it! Me and my Skellion are in the midst of our training! No far, you said? You must be quite tough if you manage to make it here only to deliver me this water. I reckon it was hard. Let me give you and your Pokemon some. It will give your strength back. I just healed. Bless me, I didn't introduce myself. My name's Abraham. Amongst the four cardinals of Eldu, I am the one who protects the ground you're walking on. Mount Starburst, the heartbeat of our region, and without a proper balance, it risks destroying its own ecosystem. I'm here to ward it off, and at the same time, I take the opportunity to forge my spirit. Did you see that, Skeleon? Someone came here for a visit. It looks cool. Then tell me, my young friend. Do you want to listen to the old legends? You see, I know them all inside out. Whoever believes I'm more than 500 years old is not that far from the truth. 500 years old? But if my guess serves, that's not what you're here for, am I right? You know, you remind me of a person. My dad, right? Of course, he must be Brazil's child. You are two of a kind. Your father was a great man and a real asset to our region. Is he crying? The terrible news of his disappearance was quite a shock for all of us. Oh, forgive my rude demon. What did you say your name was? Jay, I assume you came here asking... Seeking answers, don't you, kid? Well then, I'll tell you everything I know about it, but stay strong because this story doesn't end well. You should know that your father has always been fascinated with science and its progress. That's why he decided, along with his best friend Victor, to set up a laboratory in Hadwarf City. Victor, with the purpose of making it the biggest one in the region. Victor wasn't a skillful trainer, but to make up for it, he was a first-class mind. In other words, he was a perfect partner for your father. Okay, so brawn and muscles. Now, brawn... <laughs> step by step, the lab's staff enriched with new co-workers and became well-known all over Eldu. Among them was the renowned Aster, a kid about your age back then, who was considered an excellent and particularly bright assistant. Hey. In short, your father was doing his dream job, along with his friends and with a splendid family. But then, the unthinkable. What you're wearing in your ear is the Earth Core, isn't it? Therefore, I shall say you are aware of the recent attacks by X Pokemon. Yes, I am. They have become commonplace nowadays, but their discovery is not a recent thing. It's not a recent thing. Your father and Victor discovered them. Oh, all the way back? Creatures from a mysterious universe. The human mind could finally go further. Brazil believed that these specimens had to be bred as normal Pokemon, but Victor had completely opposite ideals. Since then, their paths diverged and the passion burning in the laboratory wound down. Invested in his ideas, Victor resigned and promised he would have found a solution to the problem. Using the funds acquired in his studies, he set up his personal organization with the sole purpose of sealing the X-Pokemon forever. As you might have guessed, Victor is the brains behind Team Dimension? No. So it's like, it's like the story of Mega Man, Dr. Wily and Dr. Light. They were both, they both had different ideas, or a different approach about a certain idea, and then they, they went, everybody went in his way to do his thing. One became evil, and one became, I think, the core of the story. Interesting. Kid, it's very probable that he was the one who made your father Brazil disappear? so that he could have no opponents. But unfortunately for him, his love has been inherited by the new generation led by Aster. Trust me, Team Dimension couldn't have made a worse enemy. That's a long story. Now I ask you to come with me, Jade. I've got something to show you. Finally, here can follow me. Okay, off we go. Up, there he is. We're 
We're heading for the Zenith Cave. One of the four Zeno Gates of the region. Zeno Gates? The access is permitted only to those who achieved Luxflon's blessing. Luxflon? Well, let's not argue semantics. I'll explain everything later. The plan of Team Dimension is merely the first domino. The whole planet is in extreme danger. But to fully comprehend these words of mine, it is necessary for you to learn about this ancient legend. Billion years ago, the universe was ruled by a majestic and powerful Pokemon. Vacuum? Or Vacu? Vacuum. Its size was comparable to a planet, its body burning like a star. Just like every creature, Vacuum was torn deep down by diametrically op opposed intentions. The light, symbol of peace and evolution, and the darkness, bearer of terror and annihilation. Despite its tremendous power, the primal creature was still subject to the arrow of time, and therefore doomed to age and become weaker and weaker. Meanwhile, the dark energy within the creature, willing to leave that dying shell, started rebelling with the purpose of establishing its own separated identity? And thus, the darkness busted out of its prison, causing the death of the Pokémon itself. A large-scale deflagration was triggered and unleashed life throughout our universe. Galaxies, stars, and planets were generated. The Earth, formed ruled half by the light being Luxflon, who incarnated following the explosion, and half by the Dark Lord Dragalisk. Cool names. To maintain the balance between them, there were three elemental guardians. Elemental guardians, parts of Vacuum 2. The starter Pokemon Shyleon, Trishout, and Shula? So called because they were forerunners of life? But Dragalisk was convinced that life wasn't necessary and banished them from its territory. Therefore, they found refuge in Luxflon's domain. Thanks to them, the Hemisphere under the rule of the Light Being grew prosperous and florid. On the other hand, the one under the Dark Lords rotted and remained at a primal, inhospitable stage. Whereupon the latter, envious of its brother's work, decided to make its move. It wanted to steal some of the energy Luxflon used to make Earth flourish so rapidly. Thanks to the intervention of both Luxflon and the starter Pokemon, the attack turned into a defeat. However, Dragalisk was able to take over a tiny amount of energy it used to create soldiers under its will, the X Pokemon. Along with its new army, the Dark One attempted another stampede, but it failed again. Then according to legend, the Light Being, horrified by this greed for power, broke into its energy reserves to turn away to turn away definite, definitely its evil twin. In doing so, Dragalisk was confined in another dimension, the Xenoverse. Under the domain of light, the Earth attained its fullest development. However, the Dark Lord never got over the defeat and tried several more times over the millennia to wreak havoc on its original planet by tearing fault lines in space-time. But if Team Dimension were to break into the Xenoverse, darkness would fall on our lives. The rifts already located all over the region would give Dragalisk its chance for revenge. It could finally be able to take over everything that Luxlot has developed until now, but there is a way to avert this threat. This is some storyline. The starter Pokemon are the harmony that keeps this world alive, and you, Jade, bear one of them. You are the expected one whose duty is to prevent its destruction. The region, no, Earth, needs you. You're still missing something to do this, though. What am I missing? I took you here to ensure you obtain a power that goes far beyond the one you currently possess. I'm talking about this universal evolution? X evolution? Thanks to that, you will be able to unlock the full potential of your Pokémon. In order to be given this power, however, you have to cross the limits of man. Jade, you see that enormous cascade there? That's not water flowing, it's terrestrial energy. It's Luxlon itself trying to patch the rifts between this world and the other. Only those who possess the Earth Core can therefore walk through the Xenogate behind it. But to do that, you must be filled with a certain amount of grudge. That's why I don't know what you're going to face in there or even give you any help. Remember though, without good, there is no evil, and vice versa. This is the key to harness blue energy. Enough with the lollygagging now, it's time to act. Come what may, always trust your ability and your Pokemons. Delve in there and come back victorious with an incredible new power. O oh, light being, to you is my prayer. 
Grant your apostle the chance to face this trial. Now go, Jade. 